as I began to um, uh, crystallize how I would make this, mm -hmm. at the same time, Apollo Computer uh, was being was having all kinds of problems, management problems, and it was really clear that it, things were not going well. Mm -hmm. And I was pretty low in the organization. Mm -hmm. So because I was 31 years old or so, um, and um, uh, but I knew all the high ups because I had done this deal, GM deal, oh. you know? And I went to him and said, um, here's this idea. And the president of the company said, we'll fund it. And he said, I'll give you space, give you some money, do it here, this would be great. And I said, okay. Fantastic. Uh, or I, said, I said, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. I went to my boss. Uh, this guy's name is Mike Gallup. Big, tall guy, deep voice. And, he's, um, you know, and he said, Bill, how hard is it to get the money we need to make the workstations we need to compete with Sun? And I said, well, pretty hard. He said, how likely is it, do you think you'll really get the money for doing this? Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I don't know. He said, if you really want to do this, you get out of here right now. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, go do it. And um, two weeks later, I quit. Wow. Two weeks after that, the president who gave me the funding or proposed the funding was fired. Wow. So, so where did you get the funding? I mean, did you show a prototype to an investor or at the MIT um, uh, startup conference? Um, so I made these little demos and I started showing people and getting people excited. Um, and there was a lot of people pushing me to not to try to go so far. I would show them the video, you know, and you could tell it was going to be, I mean, we didn't even have video. We had these little things with lines going around. Yeah. Um, but they were still pretty small on the screen. Yeah. And um, people said, why don't you use tape decks to give you the quality and then you could, I was like, no, digital video, digital audio, it's got to be digital, it's got to be fast. Um, and we just kept sticking to our guns and making demos a little better, a little better, and uh, then eventually figured out how to get that video in just for a little bit of it, how to get the video to play back, how to get sound with the video. We didn't have sound for the longest time. Wow. Um, and then uh, I hired this guy, Jeff Bedell, who was my first engineer. He's still at Avid today. Um, and um, he uh, started actually building the Avid system. Um, and we uh, started building a prototype. And we started showing it to customers. And uh, so we built a first prototype that was very film oriented, had film strips, and it was going to be all about cutting film, just film interface, film, film, film. Virtually. Right. Which, by the way, I wasn't a film guy, but I understood putting pictures out. Right. You know? Timeline. So, uh, yeah, there was a timeline and there was a film view. Mm -hmm. and, and funny thing, that original Avid thing is very similar to uh, iMovie today. The, right. the, 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 oh, new, the newest I, version? The new iMovie. Interesting. Yeah. Um, just totally film oriented. We showed that to some people and they were like, where's the play and record, you know, thing? You know, I, I, want, I want the play and record monitor. So we actually took two paths. We made two, made two prototypes. One is a film visual mm -hmm. and we made a, a second one, which was a, a, a source record visual mm -hmm. editing system. And we decided to rent a suite at the NAB show mm -hmm. and invite people to see this. So I picked up one of those guidebooks to video post-production yeah. and I opened the book and basically if they had any fancy equipment, we invited them. So if they had a Quantel Harry or if they had anything kind of, you know, beefy, Upscale. yeah, yeah, <laughs> we invited them to come to our suite at the NAB show. 86 or 87? 87. So I had a venture capitalist friend of mine, Bill Kaiser, who was interested. In February, he had the first demo, February 1988. So Bill looked at the, uh, at the system. He was excited, but puzzled, you know, never seen anything like this. And so, so early on, I made a decision, one, that we're going to go to NAB. Mm -hmm. So that set a stake in the ground. And then we decided we're going to take these two prototypes to NAB, and we're going to invite all these people. And we got a, a, we got a, a, a suite with two rooms. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, and I also decided I'm going to invite Bill and I'm going to have him be there. If people like it, great. If they hate it, then he'll hear what they hated and we'll figure out how to fix what they didn't like. Great. Um, great. And I said, just 
You didn't, you didn't have the mindset of, if they hate it, that's it, it's over. Oh, no way. No, no, no. We were we were too into it at that point. I mean, I could taste it. I wanted that machine. Yeah. I, I you know, um, I I wanted the thing. You know, it's just I had to have it. Yeah. Um. So we we went we ship we we went to the NAB show. Um, we shipped by Federal Express. Our machines were lost. In shipping? Yeah. They oh. found them. Oh, good. Uh, in time. Oh, <laughs> and we, uh, we were sweating bullets, but just to show you how much, how much money meant to us at that time, we were thrilled because now the shipping was free. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like $1,000 to send these big machines. But because you know, they lost because it. They lost it for, for a few hours or something. Well, it was it, right, right, right. So we get our machines, and um, we set it up in the suite. Oh, we had a real process. We called people at their hotels. Are they going to come? You know, we, we, uh, we had two rooms. We pre-screened them in the one room. And we surveyed them before seeing it. We surveyed them after seeing it. We asked them what price points they were willing to, to, to play out, what features they wanted. We asked them graphically. We asked them with numbers. We asked them, you know, we had all these... Measurements. Uh, yeah, measurements. We wanted... This was our moment to figure out whether we had something or not. And we asked, do you want black and white for 14,000, or do you want a medium system for 50,000, or you know, the, all the bells and whistles for 85,000? They all said, look, we want 85,000. We'll spend, we'll spend 85,000. And we want the features. We want color. We want this. Load it up. You load it up, 85 grand. That's, that's our price point. And um, so we came back, and Eric Peters was there. And my plan as an engineer was that we were going to do 15 frames per second. Because mm -hmm. if, if you look at it, the, the speed of the disk was here, mm -hmm. right? To do 30 frames per second from that disk meant you would have to use it at like up to here, which in engineering, you can't do. You just don't do that. You need more headroom. You, you need more headroom. So I said, we're going to go to 15 frames a second. We can do that. Mm -hmm. All right, and so that's what I said. We're gonna, you know, actually we asked them, how's 15, how's 30? We did ask them this. Mm -hmm. And they all said, we have to have 30. <laughs> they have to have 30, we have to have 30. In my mind, I said, you're getting 15. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell them that. But I said, you're getting 15.